Welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts. In the last episode, we got all the fusion monsters that we possibly can through the graveyard. And in this episode, we're going to run through the ancient ruins, which is a side quest that we can do. Alright. Some ancient ruins, alright? Looks more like a cave, and what the hell is with this music? Now, you can see there's some water over here, and the can't really go down there. Some steps and underwater. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. So let's go this way. We can't go through that door on the left as it is locked. Hey, what's this? Angel earrings. Now, if you remember way back when, I mentioned that there was a dungeon that was kind of like a Lost Forest type deal from Legend of Zelda. Uh, so, it, this has a very simple puzzle. Uh, it, uh, what's it called? Um, solution. Open up the Book of Rituals, which Zushin gave you. Uh, and it says, it says the memory place, cross the rainbow, then follow the drops of blood to the royal garden. What this means is, well, follow the rainbow. Start with red. There are enemies that we can run into here, so. Then we want to go orange. And then we want to go random battle. Because that works too. And the enemies in here are rather strong, if I remember correctly. And I switched my guys around, gave myself a Mon, Schnozenberger, and send off. And then, since the last time, I actually went ahead and learned all the special attacks that everybody has. So now I'm going to show off the end here. It takes a hundred mana. Holy crap. But let's do it. The end. Kamehameha! <laughs> it's more like Vegeta's fun Big Bang attack, or... Final Blast, or whatever the heck it is. And I switched Halion just because I want to level him up, so... Ooh, look at this stuff, it costs quite a bit of mana. I got the Accelerator and the Pedometer on him, which I think I can actually take off. I don't think I need it anymore. I believe I have all the necessary points I need. Alright, now he's dead. Sweet. I didn't even look what the thing's name was called. Or what it was called, what its name was, whatever. Ooh, you got a new skill, too. <laughs> My ways of speaking are amazing. So we are on orange. Let's keep going. And then we want to go yellow. If you enter in the wrong door, you know, it's just going to take you back to the entrance. Then we want to go green. Come on, get through this room. Then we want to go blue. Oh, come on. As I have to tell you the color of the rainbows, but whatever. Who do we got here? Alright, blue. And then we gotta go indigo. And then finally, violet. Man, these those little lizard guys, they use petrification. That's pretty obnoxious, but whatever. And the water drains, and a door opens. Very nice. Alright, so we can go down here. And look at there. Special chest waiting for us. <laughs> Walk around. And what do we get? We get the gold thread coat, which is Alice's ultimate armor. Very nice. We'll be getting her ultimate weapon soon enough. I'm going to try and finish a lot of these quests. A lot of these extra dungeons are not very long at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, you would think that would be all that's in here. But there's not. It's, or it's not. <laughs> there's more to do in here. Uh, and I probably should use a tent here. I don't know why I didn't just do it. And I actually did use some of my seals last time, as you can see here. Uh, so now what you want to do... Open up your valuables. Go back down to the Book of Rituals. An old book, it says, Controller of the Rainbow. Go backwards like a devil. Follow the Royal Garden to the Drops of Blood. Yeah, it changed its, uh, its meaning, which... Just means go backwards this time. 
So we want to go into our uh, violet. Bah, crap. And it's a back attack too, but hey, it's a new monster. Put us all in the background, I don't really care. We have more defense. Oh, they did pretty decent to, to Yuri, or to the other guys. Uh, let's get you Snozenberger, not Snozenberger, I'm on. What's this thing call? I'm pretty bad about doing this. Let's see, it's called a sweeper. Well, I don't really care about you, sweeper. I'm just gonna pwn for you anyways. You notice the enemies' defense have gone way up since, you know, before we were doing like 400-something damage. Not so much anymore, but we'll be doing crap tons of damage none sooner or later. Darkness damage on all enemies plus instant death. Let's try this out. Oh my. That's definitely a black hole. And that guy should be dead. <laughs> Alright. Market leveled up. Very nice. Alright, uh, you know, I'm gonna switch off the pedometer and accelerator off him, because I don't think it's really necessary. Um... Because... I believe I've maxed it out, like I was saying earlier, I... I let's go Indigo. Um... I don't need the pedometer anymore for the rest of the game, unless I want to get some other items, you can do some pedometer grinding, like I showed you in the previous. Let's see... Blue... Um, just walk into a wall in an area that is infested with monsters. And you'll build up your pedometer in no time. So you can just, like, you know, put a rubber band on your controller or what have you. And then we want to go yellow, but hey, I was going to say, there's a treasure chest. Alright, uh, as I was saying, there was a treasure chest here, and they, they kept pummeling me with those freaking rocks, man. The sweeper only seems to attack you from the back. He only gets, like, back attacks on you. It's freaking frustrating. Either that or he just, uh, gets to go a whole lot. Alright, he, he has a high, uh, back attack ratio or something. Now we want to go orange and then red. And that'll be it. This music is not necessary for this dungeon. <laughs> it's kind of, it's like, what the hell? All right, that should drain the water again. Let me come out this door uh, again. What I want to do though is I want to go ahead and save, and you want to go ahead and uh, equip crucifixes on if you have them on everybody. I don't have three of them. But I do have two, and I'm going to equip one on Haley here. Uh, I'm going to take off these Warlock now. I'll keep those on there. I'm going to put one on Yuri, especially on Yuri. Crucifix. And I'm going to put one on... Uh, maybe Margaret. Yeah, alright, let's put it on him. I'm worried like He's got a lot of magic damage. She'll just have to deal with it. See, where's my other crucifix? Does somebody else have my crucifix on? Oh, crud. I think someone else has my crucifix. Uh, you know what? I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna go, um... I'm gonna go, uh, switch out my characters, because I need two crucifixes. Because this guy uses a crap ton of special attack, or, uh, status effects. So, be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back real quick. Uh, so yeah, I did have enough points to, uh, get what I wanted. You have to get 10,000 points on your pedometer, and you get a leather suit. Let's go ahead and equip that on uh, Margaret here. For adults only, protective gear custom made for the killer Queen Malkovich, who declared no rubber suit for me. Cuts fire and water damage in half. Not bad, she says. Very sexy. So there we go. We got our ultimate weapon. Armor. Very nice. Now I'll meet you back at the... Alright guys, we're back. And now we're gonna go and fight this boss that's down here. Yeah, out of my way, stupid stairs. I got a boss to kill. What the heck is that thing? Anyways, really strange. Who disturbs my sleep? 
disrupts. I thought it said disturb. It says disrupt. <laughs> right, look at this thing. What? Jesus! What the hell? <laughs> it's, uh, we gotta fight zombie Jesus. That's... That's something, isn't it? What, else, what other game are you going to fight zombie cheese? <laughs> like, I don't know, under, understand. I guess that's what they're going for. I mean, it looks exactly like... Look at... Hold on, I'm going to use uh, the end on this guy. Hit, alright. <laughs> it's freaking Jesus. What the... That's weird. <laughs> I always thought this was a weird battle. I was like, why am I... Fighting, like... Zombie Jesus. Divine punishment. This is what... You want the crucifixes for. Because this move puts all kinds of crazy status effects on you. And if you have crucifix, stop some of that. Go ahead and hit him with the black hole and have Margaret heal. Or. Never mind. She's paralyzed. But you see how much damage that did? It did a crap ton. I probably should have Hallie heal. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. I should have brought Alice with this fight, because it's rather tough. But yeah, it didn't really do much there, did it? Oh, crap. I don't have any healing items. Shh. Well, you're useless to me. Let's just keep poking at him. Go down, zombie Jesus. What the heck? Like shooting things at us, but I got healing here. I'm gonna go ahead and heal Hallie because at least he can attack. Or if I miss completely, that works too. Uh, trying to get that critical hit. Oh no, he killed Margaret. Uh, I don't care. But I am gonna revive her before this battle's over. That's how useless some of your team fights. I mean, she could have been more helpful if I, you know, would add another crucifix, but I don't really care. Yuri's so powerful, it doesn't matter. I'm just going <laughs> to beat on him until he goes down. As long as they didn't do divine punishment or anything. Look at that, 277 damage to him. Well, whatever, I don't need you anyways. <laughs> I'm the best party leader ever. Ow. Ow. Never mind, he killed me. <laughs> he beat me. Oh, darn it. Alright. Let's try that again. But this time I swapped out that useless Hallie with a more helpful Alice. She'll be able to um, keep us healed with her freaking arc spell she has. So that's all she's going to be doing is casting arc most of the time. If he goes for an individual... Or he could just kill her straight out. Like, that works too, you know? God, what an asshole. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. I need to revive real quick. Talisman of Luck. No, oh, that's not going to do it because he'll probably just one-shot her. If he does that all spell again. Well, Yuri, it's down to you again. You're pretty much going to be carrying the team. Cure yourself. Come on. I can't believe this undead zombie Jesus thing is killing me. Well, I mean, he is the strangest monster I've ever seen in the game, but whatever. I will poke you to death. I will not lose this time. You know, I might do actually do more damage if I was to boost the team. If I were to use my flame. Up oh, here's Divine Punishment. Broken attack! This sucks. Petrify. Well, that's that's just fantastic. You know, I always love getting... No comment. Let's try this. Just gotta keep everybody healed. I don't really care that Margaret's stoned. I'll, uh... I'll deal with that when I get to it. <laughs> oh, this is starting off wonderful, let me tell you. Starting off just fantastic. Well, it's because she's stoned. No! 
Okay, that's fine. Stupid thing! Stupid invisible Jesus! Jeebus! Yeah, when they're petrified, they take a lot less damage. It's like they're defending, basically. Uh, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna actually use Wish for once. I have not used this skill yet. This is what I was looking for when I had Hallie. I was like, oh, she oh crap, he doesn't have a way to cure status ailments. Oh god, you need to heal. Let's see, do I have a something that restores the entire party? Guess not. I don't really have anything to heal you. Sorry. You're just gonna have to shoot him. I don't even know where her freaking thing is again. I gotta look it up. Oh, I know. I know where it's at. Alright, if he does Divine Punishment again, I'm kind of screwed. Ow. Okay, good. He He's going easy on me. He knew he could have killed me easily if he would have done that, but he's like, no, you know what? I am a dead Jesus, you know? I'm gonna spare you, Zing Fei. I like you. Give me full health. Ooh, penny shot. Whatever. You were looking at it, too. Full health. Always helpful. Always a good idea. I'm not losing to you again. Yeah, alright. With that, the Seraphim is dead. Sixty thousand experience. And she learned her final spell, Resurrection. No, no, she has one more. There's one more spell she gets. Uh, and thirty thousand experience. Cash and a Volt Snipe. Awesome. Very nice. Don't care about that because we're maxed out. Cheating son of a gun. You didn't beat me this time. That's right. But there's nothing else here. We just get that Volt Snipe item, which... Is that exactly... Is that an accessory? <laughs> I think I would know. I'm going to have to look it up. You know... No. What the heck is that item that I just got? That I just got? It's not a valuable. What the heck is it that we just picked up? <laughs> Let's see. If we go to equipment. Let's see. Weapon. Volt Snipe. Ah, it's a weapon for a Halley. A weapon invented by an alchemist called Skin of Teeth. What? <laughs> it's shaped and, uh, shape and power are very unique. It strikes fear into the enemies. So that's how you get his ultimate weapon. To get his ultimate armor, you have to um, go through the pit fights. Joy. Ugh. Oh god, I don't want to do those pit fights. But, but we'll make it somehow. Somehow. Now we're going to go move on to the next dungeon, guys. Alright, huzzah and all that good stuff. Let me heal myself and... Use my last hint. Oh no. But you know what? gonna... Let's see, how, how are we doing on time here? 18 minutes in. Let's at least start the next dungeon before I leave you guys off. Alright, so the next one, if you remember, we go to uh, London, I believe it is. And then there's a cave temple. Let's check it out. Let's see, what level is everybody? Margaret's 37, Alice is 42... Wanna wonder what's in here. It's an awful sad place. Oh yes. This is I hate this puzzle. There's something carved into the wall. It shows a picture of how you're supposed to get through this area. It's a uh it's a <laughs> even more of a lost forest type dungeon puzzle. Yeah, it's exactly what you think it is. You gotta Choose the right direction. Hey, look! A treasure chest! Alright! Priest earrings! Can never go wrong with that! Um, let's see here. Let's go to the right. Let's see where it takes us. Takes us right back outside! Oh, crap. <laughs> but you know what, guys? Before we really get into delving the rest of these side quests, I'm going to end the episode here. This is Zangfei500. Hope you guys have a good one. Take care.